we have a big breaking news coming out. Do me a favor and share this video. Once again, thank you so much for your support. We have another update, NASA urgent warning. NASA warns major solar storms set to cause blackouts on Earth, not only Europe, but we're talking about the entire world here. All right, so this is the reason why the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, and then you had the NOAA, I think FEMA was also involved. Multiple uh, government agency uh, announced the uh, May 19th solar flare emergency drill. All right, so they're getting grid ready, the power grid, uh, also the GPS and uh uh, satellites and even uh, the astronauts we need to pray for them too guys uh, they're the first one that see all the events going on uh, solar flares so again we have an urgent update here and uh, I do believe lights will go out pretty soon all right the signs of the heavens we are definitely seeing it all right guys before I start for those of you that want to send us letters a prayer request, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the Cash App link and the PayPal link in the comments box and also description box. Thank you so much for your support. All right, so this is a very important update. Let's see what's going on here. A massive solar storm is heading towards Earth threatening to disrupt communications, navigation system, and power grids around the world. Ugh. NASA issued the warning after a powerful burst of energy from the sun last week, which measured as an X2.7 class solar flare, the highest category for solar flares. Oh man. Solar flares are intense bursts of radiation that come from sunspots, darker, cooler areas on the sun's surface, and are among the most powerful explosions in the solar system. These flares can last from a few minutes to several hours. Here's the thing that they are failing to mention. Um, solar flare also causes a massive headache. All right, because the last time we got hit with a solar flare, I think it was like last week or the week before, uh, there was some headaches going on. All right, solar flare doesn't also impact power grids and satellites and stuff like that, but uh, it does impact, uh, you know, humans, put it like that. So, again, uh, have, you know, a lot of, I mean, again, drink a lot of water, uh, stay inside, use, uh, again, stay, you know, inside the house with fan on or AC. But uh, again, just a reminder that, uh, again, headaches and all that type of stuff could play a huge role. All right, so it says here, this X2.7 flare released on May 14 came from the sun's most active region, which is now rotating directly towards us. Yes, eight I think 8 billion people so far. That's the population. So the flare has already caused radio blackouts across Europe, Asia, and the Middle East, along with some power uh, degradation in the eastern U.S. NASA warned that more is to come, uh-oh, saying that the burst could continue to impact radio communications, electric power grids, navigation signals and pose risk to spacecraft and astronauts space expert vincent posted on x this is getting intense these are experts here all right they're sounding the alarm listen this is getting intense especially as this active region turns closer into view ladies and gentlemen this is bible prophecy there will be signs in the sun in the moon and in the stars. Our Lord and Savior Jesus said that this will come. Now, when God created the heaven and the earth, he didn't create it to last forever. Eventually, that sun is going to turn off. Eventually, the earth will start spinning. And eventually, the lights, the stars will turn off. Everything will go with a big bang. In the beginning, there was, uh, you know, God created the heaven and the earth. 
at the very end, God will uncreate it. Now it says here, while NASA warned more blackouts and communication interference are expected in a matter of days. The agency also noted that several U.S. states will witness stunning northern lights. Those include Alaska, Washington, Idaho, Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, Minnesota, Michigan, Wisconsin, and Maine, as well as parts of nearby states including New York. Mm. NASA issued the warning after a powerful burst of energy from the sun, which measured as an X, X2.7 class solar flare, the highest category, uh, category for the solar flare. The solar flare appears as a bright flash in extreme ultraviolet light, which is colored red to uh, situate the immense heat. Yikes. You see that in the eastern part? Yeah, those areas are going to see the auroras. But uh, it, I, again, I do believe there's going to be uh, people reporting of having uh, severe headaches. Please share the video. Solar flares. Once again, solar flares are grouped into five categories, A, B, C, M, and X with each level representing a tenfold increase in energy output. A is the weakest, and X is the strongest. Now, the UK's Met Office, Office reported that up to five sunspots regions are currently visible on the side of the sun, facing Earth. With a new magnetically active region rotating into view over the southeastern solar horizon. The agency also noted that a region near the sun's northwest limb may have produced a moderate class flare earlier on May 19. The solar activity is expected to remain mostly low but with an ongoing chance of isolated moderate class flares. The Met Life, uh, excuse me, the Met Office added. This uptick in solar activity highlights the importance of monitoring space weather, especially as our society becomes more reliant on technology. As the sun continues through its active phase, more solar flares and potential geomagnetic storms could occur in the coming days and weeks. So, America, actually, to the world prepare because there could be power outages lights could go out experts are really really sounding the alarm here hmm. it says here um, a geomagnetic storm is a temporary disturbance of Earth magnetic field caused by a massive eruption of charged plasma from the sun's outermost layer. One notable example occurred in 1989 when a powerful geomagnetic storm triggered a nine-hour blackout across Quebec, Canada. Could we see something like that? A nine-hour blackout? High-frequency radio communication vital for aviation and marine time operation are particularly vulnerable to such space weather events. Although not yet confirmed, there may have been a coronal mass ejection associated with the May 14 X-class flare. The CMEs are large eruption of solar plasma and magnetic field that if directed at Earth can trigger a geomagnetic storm and vivid auroras. For now, Earth may be spared as the active region AR4087 is still located near the edge of the sun, not yet fully facing our planet. 
All right, give me a second here. I want to pull up some more information. NASA warns. NASA urgent warning. All right, so give me a second here. I want to take it on X. Pull up some more information. If you can, please share this video. Thank you again. Hey, a uh, big shout out to AAP. Hey, I saw that super chat. Thank you so much, AAP. And thank you so much for all of you that support in uh, super chat. I'm sorry, I'm not. Uh, I'm not on the uh, live uh, live premiere. Uh, again, while you got again while you guys are watching this, I'm making another video. So I truly apologize about the uh, the super chat. You know, not giving you guys a shout out, but thank you so much again for the uh, super uh, super chat uh, shout uh, support. Give me a second here, guys. I want to pull up this video really quick. Give me a second here. Let me just play this. I'm not going to play that music. I don't know if this is a trademark copyright, but uh, again, you guys get the picture. NASA warns major solar storms said to cause blackouts across Earth. And again, I'm not trying to spook no one here, but uh, it's just this is where we are right now in these uh, very, very important time of Bible prophecy. I want to pull some of this very important information here. Hmm. Got this person also sharing the information. NASA warns major solar storm said to cause blackouts on Earth. And so we already know that. What people need to do is people need to uh, again start getting ready. You, again, you gotta prep. You gotta prep with all this stuff going on in the world. Again, you cannot ignore all these events. A lot of people saying nothing's gonna happen. Uh, I, I, again, I'm sorry, but uh, I believe uh, what the Bible says. Again, whatever you got. Again, those who say that nothing's gonna happen. Again, that's your belief. But again, I go with scriptures. And Jesus says, and many, many prophets says that in the end time, things are going to shake. The sun will be shaken. So, again, you could have that great uh, fantasy that uh, everything is kumbaya and this and that on this planet. That's you guys. But, uh, again, me as a watchman, my job is to sound the alarm and uh, wake up many, many people out there and lead them to uh, Bible prophecy. Again, scriptures, the King James Version, lead them to Jesus Christ. All right, so once again, guys, this is all the information here. Sun releases strong solar flares causing communication blackouts. All right, so NASA confirms two major solar storms on Sun, which can cause blackouts on Earth. Man, two. Two. NASA warns of two solar storm flares that could... Give me a second here. Let me just pull up this information. Let me just read this title really quick here. NASA warns of two solar flares that could wreck havoc on Earth. Here's all that can happen. <coughs> Excuse me. The structure of one of the ejection has captured the attention of the scientific communi community due to its potential for geomagnetic impact. Ugh. That's a big sun. So you even have people out there working on the grids. NASA has issued a serious warning after detecting two powerful solar flares that could have significant consequences for Earth. Now, on May 14, 2025, the Solar Dynamic Observatory recorded 
the X2.7 solar flare, the highest category on the scale that measures the intensity of these phenomena. This flare, the most powerful of the year to date, has already caused temporary disruption to high frequency radio communication in regions of the Middle East. Now the solar flare, the solar activity did not stop there. In the following days, NASA instruments identified new sunspots on the sun's surface, suggesting that more solar storms could occur in the coming weeks. These flares are associated with coronal mass ejection, large clouds of solar plasma that when interacting with planet Earth magnetic field can trigger geomagnetic storms capable of disrupting critical infrastructure uh, such as power grids, GPS navigation system, and communication satellites. You guys are paying attention? Wow! Happening now, an X2.7 flare from AR4087 rotating in. This is getting intense, especially as this active region turns closer into view. The same AR just produced an M5.3 flare a few hours ago. What does this AR have planned over the next days? We'll have to wait and see. Pay attention. One of the most striking aspects of this uh, recent solar activity has been the shape of one of the ejection. This shape indicates a large ejection with a high probability of interaction with the Earth, Earth mag uh, magnetosphere, which has raised concern among space weather experts. Now, impact on Earth, communication, energy, and navigation at risk. The consequences of these solar storms can be multiple and far-reaching. NASA has warned that charged particles emitted by the sun can cause everything from power outages to radio communication failure and errors in satellite navigation system. High latitude regions are especially vulnerable to these effects, although the disturbances can be felt globally. The May 14 phenomenon was accompanied by a coronal mass ejection measuring over 967,000 kilometers in area, more than 75 times the diameter of the Earth. Now it says here this magnitude was sufficient to disrupt the balance of the Earth magnetic field, generating unstable geomagnetic condition that could persist for several days. Space physicist, physicist uh, Tamitha, I totally apologize about that word, a space weather expert explained that the impact of the storm was grazing, but strong enough to leave a very intense wake that could lead to G uh, G2 geomagnetic storm level. All right, so this is where we are right now. This is where we are. So it's coming and it's heading towards planet Earth. Now, it's not the end of the world. It's not going to do none of that type of stuff. But power outages could happen. All right? You saw what happened in Spain, right? It could happen here in America. Just imagine Times Square lights go out. It's just the tip of the iceberg. We could see the Holy Land uh, going down. Possibly missile defense system could go down. Uh, again, anything could happen. Anything could happen. So pay attention. We are definitely seeing signs of the heavens along with the nation against nation and many Bible prophecy events. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please share the video. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $5 a month Patreon. We get your access to our live stream once a week. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on this platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father except through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.